Welcome back everybody, Robert with Occupancy Boost. I've had uh, customers ask me to make a video about how to set up a deposit policy in booking.com. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and show you guys how to do that. I'm also gonna show you guys how to communicate this to the guest so they can never check in and say they didn't know you had a deposit policy. Stay tuned, I'm gonna switch screens and show you guys how to get this done, it's real simple. Okay, I'm in the booking.com extranet right here. And in order to get to the deposit page, you just go to the property tab here at the top, hit the drop down, and go to policies. Now, booking.com, let me explain this while it's loading. Booking.com is a lot different than Expedia. You can set up pet deposits and pet fees in Expedia. Booking.com, you can't really do anything with pets, but just notify on there that you basically charge for pets if, if they come. Um, are, are not really charged for pets, but that you, you know, you do accept pets and that charges may apply. That's all you can do. But I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video how to kind of get around that a little bit. Um, it's worked really well for me and my other properties. So I'm on the uh, drop down properties and then deposits. I'm sorry, um, the, excuse me, I kind of got sidetracked there. And you're going to go to the policy section. So we're in the policy section. You scroll all the way down until you hit almost the bottom here, and you're gonna get the damage deposit policy. So this is a damage deposit. When somebody comes to check into your hotel and you take a deposit from them, either by cash or credit card, in case there's damages to the room, okay? Um, let me click on here, and I've already got this set up for this particular property that I'm working with, but let me just run through with you guys how to fill this out. So if you're doing this for the first time, um, obviously you go to the same area, it's going to ask, do you, uh, do, your, do, you, do your guests pay a damage deposit? Yes. Uh, enter the maximum amount the guests could be charged for damage deposit per stay. So if they're staying for five days, five days it's just a one-time charge. Um, most of the properties I work with charge $50. You can charge whatever you want. It depends on your property, the size, um, the expense of the furniture in your, in your property, a lot of different things. That's really up to the discretion of the operator and the owner. And you can choose in here if you want to collect it through a credit card or cash. Um, some hotels like to take cash for, so they have to deal with the credit card part of it again. And then you're going to have to collect this upon arrival. It's the only option that Booking.com gives you is to collect it when the guest checks in. And then you, you turn it basically, you return it the day you check out, even though it takes about two to three business days for a credit card or debit card uh, for that money to get returned, uh, you're still going to, you're going to issue the refund that day. So it could, you got to let them know when they check in, it could take two or three days for the debit or, or credit card to get refunded for that amount. Now you hit save and that's it. You're done. Let me show you what this looks like on booking.com to a customer. So once the customer is getting ready to book your room, They've chosen the room type and they go through here and they're filling out all their information with their email address, their name, and their profile before they book your hotel. Down here on the left-hand side, as you can see, it shows the total amount, it shows their taxes, and then right here it says damage deposit, um, fully refundable. So $50, this particular hotel is charging $50 for their damage deposit. If you put $150 in there or $100, that's what's going to show up. They don't pay for it when they book their room. They pay for it when they arrive at the hotel. But Booking.com informs them right here that um, you know there is a damage deposit at the hotel. Now, what I was telling you guys, I got a little caveat here at the end. When um, customers sometimes don't see that, all right? Other customers see it, pretend like they never saw it. When they check in, they say they don't have the money, they don't have the cash, or they don't have money on their credit card for the, for the damage deposit. There is a way around that. And what you could do, let me go back to the booking.com extranet here. Let me go to the top of the page. This area here, um, under property, if you go to messaging preferences here, you can actually set up a template. You can build a template in here and you can set up an automatic email to go out to every single reservation as soon as it's made. The email can go out to that customer and it can inform that inform that customer that you have a damage deposit at your hotel. So if the customer checks in and says, oh, I didn't know you guys charge money for a damage deposit or I didn't know you took a deposit when, when somebody checks in, 
you can say, well, yeah, you got an email and it shows you in their reservation details. When you send an email out, that's saved in their reservation details. So you can always go back to their reservation and show them that, yes, they did receive uh, the message. It's a great way of communicating with the customer ahead of time to ensure that they, you know, they, they had the money when they arrive. You can also put that you have that you, you can also type in there that you charge a pet deposit and how much that is. Now, that was a whole different video that I did, and I've got a link in the description for that video for how to set up automatic emails. It's a great video. It shows you guys how to commu communicate with your customers on pretty much about anything. All the hotels that I work with, I've got an email that goes out automatically that tells the customer about the damage deposit and informs them about the pet policies. About half the hotels that I work with charge for pets, the other half don't. Um, some don't accept pets, so I've got all those details in that email that goes out to the customer. It's one email, informs them how much the damage deposit is or what the deposit is, um, how they can pay it, either credit card or cash, and then how, how the hotel handles pets and how much that costs if there's a fee associated with it. So that description is down in the details. That's pretty much about it, you guys. Pretty simple, straightforward video uh, and showed you guys how to communicate with your guests at the end. If you like this video, Please, please click the like button and feel free to share this with all your colleagues and subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos coming out. This extranet, these extranets for the OTAs are huge places and I try to make your life easier by, by making these short videos and giving you guys some insight into how you can better communicate with your customers and be more successful at your hotel. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.